guys how are you all doing it's your girl cindy and i'm back again today with another gist i trust you guys are doing great thank you so much for clicking to watch this video guys in today's video we are gonna be talking about the viral video of the president of russia vladimir putin revealing the identity of jesus so president putin just announced to the whole world that jesus is black now in that video he proceeds to tell his country to only worship the black Jesus and not the white Jesus. Now in that viral video, President Putin was seen opening a Russian vault, revealing the true color, the real identity of Jesus. Now, of course, it didn't sit well with a lot of white people. They are making videos reacting to the viral video and as well commenting on every video that is literally talking about it. I have put together um, those videos we are gonna see their reactions and of course some black people are saying that they already know about this but the thing is why revealing it now why you know um opening the vault this time okay i'm gonna show you some of these comments i just want us to see them and of course talk about it because this is what is trending there are loads of reactions on social media let's check these videos out you have to be an exemplary type of stupid to believe that jesus of nazareth christ the king was a black african nubian man a sub-saharan african man let's go back to 10,000 bce anatolian farmer dna here's the modern distribution but anatolian farmer dna is coming from Anatolia here, but it was also in the Levant. If you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black, but they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks Aramaic does this person look sub-Saharan African to you? This is Thutmose III, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that Putin is revealing would be more accurate if they were all portraying Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. Well, well, well. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people, a lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish brown hair. I don't, I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene, just like being black and just like being white. It has to do with your genes, the color of your eyes. I'm sure we could find out. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a thing. Why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue-eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig, though. My hair's looking, oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin... You drew the race card. Now what you going to do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus. You're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway. Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're going to nuke us, aren't you? You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. 
Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what, what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin, what do you think you're doing? To Joe, hurting his feelings. No, I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now. Because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you. Just like when I voted for Obama because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks. So they could stop being so racist against white people. Because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. What's going on, y'all? So Vladimir Putin, he went, uh, he was at a press conference and whatnot. And he released a bunch of images of a bunch of black um, biblical people, even a black Jesus. So let me get y'all's uh, thoughts on it. It's tripping about the video that I'm posting, but... Just look at this picture right here. And look at this one. Let's see, you see the nose. It has a big nose. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not being racist now. I'm just saying, man. You know, I'm just talking about features. And then, I mean, you see that? That one looks kind of like European style. I'm not going to lie. And then this one right here looks like it is Jesus right here. And um, I don't know. Now, obviously, I can't give you a for sure answer and tell you, oh, yes, this is Jesus, yada, yada, yada. But one thing that I can say is, as a Muslim, we believe that Moses was a black man. And Jesus, we believe Jesus was a black man too. I mean, when you look at, even when you read certain Bible verses, when it talks about um, the feet of Jesus Christ were bronze, what does that tell you? So me personally, I have no idea where the hell this person came from. This is not Jesus. This is just a white man with a beard. And one thing I love about Islam is that um there's no images of anybody you don't go and make images of prophets you don't go and make images of muhammad you don't go and make images of jesus and you don't make images of nobody because if you do that we're having the same problem we're having right now even a painting can't 100 percent accurately predict what or even tell future generations this is what that person looked like even though the paintings might be detailed this isn't exactly what the person looked like so my whole thing is, I've always known that Jesus was was uh, colored. I always knew uh, Moses was colored. I mean, the whole message of Jesus was destroyed by Paul when he told the Jews not to obey the Old Testament no more. But Jesus said to obey the Old Testament laws. And whoever tells you not to, they're an enemy. But what do y'all think about this, man? Y'all comment down below. Do y'all think Jesus is white or do y'all think he was colored? Y'all comment down below. Catch y'all next episode. A rato. Nation that they now serve black Jesus. Well, young lady, <laughs> that's part of one of the reasons why I've been ostracized by so many people in my life because I've known that for years. I mean, first you have to look at where Jesus came from. It's all dark skin tone people over there, anyway, pretty much. Okay, I've known for years. Since I can remember, honestly, that Jesus was not a Caucasian. That Jesus was a darker, skin-toned person. I've known that for years. And I've never had a problem understanding and believing that. Okay? <laughs> it's funny, though. There's been people like me out there for years saying that very thing. And they're discredited, and they're they're ostracized, and and they want to uh, people like, oh no, we gotta shut that one up. But the minute a world leader steps on the stage and says it, oh my God, it's front page news. I don't care. I'm glad it's getting put out there because it's the truth. And I've known it since as long as I can remember. I've just known that. You know, and 
I mean, we're all pretty much just a cesspool of races anymore anyway. But I'm glad to know that other people are finally waking up to that truth. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Keep smiling, everyone. Entire nation that they now serve black Jesus. I'm very happy that the truth is finally out, but knowing Russians and Vladimir Putin, I can see that there's he's going to gain a political upper hand in this because they're creating new currency with, I think it's South Africa. So it's not just that. It's not a religious. There is a gain a huge monetary financial gain in his statement. But nevertheless, I am very happy that the truth, even under this kind of a sauce, so to speak, it's coming out and we all are here to celebrate it. Entire nation that they now serve black Jesus. So when I was taking Russian in college, my professor was from a family who had been evicted from Russia because they were basically tied in with the czar at the time. And so they were living in the United States. And he told me about the politics that they shared. He made two interesting predictions to me back in the early 80s. The first prediction was that software engineers would be the new aristocracy in the country. The second prediction he made was that at some point the United States would be more like Russia and Russia would be more like the United States and that in this country we would have a racial civil war. Now, with this announcement timed the way it is, while I think it's great and I think it's cool what, what Putin is doing because, you know, hey, being inclusive is awesome, but it also makes me wonder if this guy knew something that I none of us really know. Vladimir Putin just told his entire nation that they psychological warfare. You assume he has no benefit of saying this. There's way more going on than you and I know. I know that all of the religions and all of the governments of the world are one, but not a good unity, an evil unity like we saw with COVID March of 2020. This coming from a guy who has been known to persecute quote unquote Christians in his country. I don't trust him. And currently I don't speak Russian. Putin Vladimir decided that this is a good time for him to open one of the oldest vault that he has been holding on for so many years. Now, if you ask me, where did he get the vault? I don't know. How did, how, why did he have it? Mm, I have no idea. But what I'm going to say is this. It's one of the oldest vaults that holds basically some of like the most important, you know, art as far as portraying to religion and who Jesus was and, and how Jesus looked like. So he decided that this is a good time to open it, <laughs> Mr. Putin. <laughs> Let me tell you why this is going to rough up some feathers, especially in the religion community and in a Christianity community. You're trying to tell a group of people that their Jesus was not black. You're trying to tell a group of people who truly believe that Jesus was white. <sighs> For those who doesn't understand how religions have played into, specifically uh, Christianity have played into colonization and, and have made it possible and, and, and created access for, for, for colonizers to go to other countries and, and, and you know, conquer. Yo, for those who doesn't know, <laughs> Jesus was black or Hey, I mean, I knew that because in the Bible, he literally described him as a brown person with the, you know, our type of hair with like a woolly, fussy hair. So the white Christian is about to be upset, Ooh, but I'm here for it. I want to hear more. <laughs> okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. 
this thing about who and opening the vault and showing up the true color of Jesus, like, um, first I want to say this. I am a born again servant of Christ. I'm not going to tell you that the pigment of his skin um, determines your salvation. Absolutely not. When it comes to salvation um, and the spirit, flesh does not matter. But also, also, when some people say it doesn't matter what Christ's skin color was, here's the thing, right? If it doesn't matter, why hide it? You know, why painted something it's not then if it didn't matter? Why couldn't just leave it how it was? And it also helps you change your perspective of how you view the word of God. Because usually like when you picture the character, not characters because they're people, you think of rice-skinned people. And it's like, oh, that's not it. I remember the children Bibles that I had growing up. And it's like, oh, no, they actually look like me. Like that's interesting. And it's also nice to know like, oh, wow. Like I could possibly be from like the lineage of the 12 tribes of Israel like that's a that's a cool thing you know so I don't want that like I'm trying to have this like balance this equilibrium like we want to some of us want to appreciate like oh okay we are possibly um not even possibly I believe I am a Hebrew you know like that's yay yay but it doesn't when it comes to I'm not a Hebrew Israelite I'm not gonna say white people going to hell I'm gonna step on white white, white people going bad out of me no because that's foolishness it's not about we also got to remember we the ones that persecuted our savior we the ones that was continuously called a stiff neck rebellious generation so we shouldn't really be puffed up in chest like yeah we the people okay guess what we the people we the people crucified our savior so how about that so understand I'm not I'm not the one like you got to worship a black Jesus like no that's not like it's not that type of stance but the word of God says, it might be John chapter four, verse 24, that God is a spirit and those who love him or those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if the truth is he was not a right skinned person, why we, why we, <laughs> why we worship him in a lie and deception? You feel me? But I wanted to say this, right? Ask yourself, why is Putin showing this now? Like, why is Putin, show, Putin showing this now? I believe that, of course, in these end times, the most high, Jesus Christ, is revealing his truth. But also, I remember watching the movie Never Leave the World Behind. And basically, one of the points in there is, if you want to touch a country without touching a country, cause chaos in the midst of it, and they'll fight themselves. I believe he showed this, one of his intentions to show this was to start a civil war. Because my people, my colored people, and then also... The pride in my generation, once they start finding out and they start clicking in their minds, like, oh, you lied to us, and that our true savior was actually this color, that these folks, they going to, look, it's going to, they're going to butt heads. Not, not black people against black people, but it's going to be black people against other races. That's what I believe. I believe a civil war is going to start out and break out. I'm not prophesying. going to break out in America, and I think that's what Putin, Putin's doing. I think he's a very intelligent man, and he's um wisdom like he has wisdom in that area i'm not saying like in faith that he's no he's knowing what he's doing he's knowing what, he, know what he's doing revealing this truth and revealing that usa was a deceiver deceiver oh he know what he's doing i believe a civil war is gonna break out that's that's what i'm saying that's what i think but yeah hello hello family good morning to everybody i just had to make this little quick video this morning I just got one question. How you white Christians feeling now that Putin done opened up the vote and done showed y'all what I've been telling y'all, what we have been telling y'all, you know, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus is a black man. He's a black man all day long, black unto the ground. So how y'all feeling about that? How y'all feelings right about now? Y'all ready to worship a black Jesus? Y'all ready to bow down? Y'all ready to bow to a black Jesus? I'm sure y'all like, there is no way I'm going to bow to a black man. I'm not going to bow down to him. Oh, you going to bow. <laughs> oh, you going to bow. See, the Israelites don't have a problem with bowing to their Messiah, their Savior, Yahweh Shai. Y'all do. So ain't nobody going to talk about how Putin just said he served black Jesus? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on wait a minute stop the presses putin said that he's going to lead the world into understanding that jesus was black wait a minute <laughs> what bruh i'm starting to like putin even though he's coming for us um maybe he won't come for us i know that's a little racist 
so just a little bit but i'm just saying he might I mean, it is about time that we get favored for, I, I mean, God is, is he going to have to justify it some type of way. Have I said too much? Okay, I, I'm going to go now. But y'all go ahead on and check that interview out. Um, He said we're not lying no more. He said we're not going to keep this under wraps no more. He said he's tired with the lies. He's tired with the white Jesus and the blue eyes. And I know that ruffles some of y'all feathers because if all my life, if I was white and I thought Jesus was white with blue eyes all my life, I would feel some type of way if somebody was like, nah, Jesus black. He been black. That You just been lied to. I would feel some type of way. Now, I have to, I'm going to just mop the reverse experience. It, it feels, it feels, it feels liberating. It feels like. TikTok, this video is for black and white people. When I say white people tired of white people shit, this is what I mean. Oh, don't go nowhere. Let me piss myself down to a little guy so you can share this and comment. Vladimir Putin is telling his entire country that we will no longer celebrate a white Jesus because Jesus is black. Also, he wants his nation to know that moving forward, we will no longer be dividing. We will always be a unity and Jesus is black. They just opened a vault that has all the evidence that proves Jesus is black and our history is whitewashed. What they found were books the books you see below of black Jesus, black Israelites, black Jews. They discovered the figures of biblical proportions. Vladimir Putin said these books revealed the truth. He said everybody in the Bible is black, including Jesus. He says the undeniable truth stands before us, not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and the unity that faith embodies. Putin is telling the world and his entire country, we will not hate black people. We will love black people. We will cherish black people. And their Lord and Savior is a black man. He wants his country to be more inclusive and understanding of your history and spirituality. All these fake-ass Christians out here worshiping Leonardo da Vinci's gay lover. That image of Jesus that y'all got hanging up was Leonardo da Vinci's boyfriend. The real Jesus was black. Vladimir Putin is telling this country from this day forward, you will not worship a white Jesus. He wants to protect his nation under the guidance of black Jesus. These are all his words coming out of his mouth, because they found all the evidence that they have been hiding for years, Smithsonian. He says black Jesus is not just the cornerstone of Christian faith, but that black Jesus is a symbol of the universal values of love. He said this black Jesus, his likeness and his history has now been unveiled. He said that believing in a white Jesus is not Christianity. He says humanity divides us more than our differences. In other words, white people divides us more than anything. He said, let this discovery remind you that history is whitewashed, but also don't overlook the contributions of the black people. He said that this information that they just discovered challenges us to re-examine what we know. He says this discovery questions their assumptions. He said, open your hearts to the broader possibility of understanding that Jesus was black. And he says, as we embark on this journey of discovery and understanding the truth, he will build a nation that truly reflects the teachings of black Jesus. Right, so I took some screenshots of comments as usual so you guys can see what other people said, you know, about uh, the viral video. Um, this is literally what black people have been saying all this while, like I said. Now, the question some of them are asking is this, why revealing it now? Now, some of them are saying that this is not news at all. Like, literally, this is what we've known for centuries. 
and they have known all this while that Russia knew about this and also the timing people are talking about the timing now let's not forget that jesus was born in jerusalem and i know where jerusalem is i know so i'm not surprised this is not news to me but because it is a viral video i thought i should bring these videos here so you guys can see what other people are saying Please let me know what you all think in the comments, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share, comment, and of course, come back for another video. I'm going to see you all in my next one. Y'all take care. Bye.